Hi, and welcome to the crunch guide to the expenses section of your crunch account. So the expenses page is all about recording the outgoing costs for the company and making sure that we're marking the payment methods for them correctly. So to get started, we can jump in and follow one of the new expense buttons here, or if we navigate to the expenses page, we'll be able to see our existing and historic expenses. So when we click the new expense button, we're taken on to the new expense page. Now, first of all, we need to allocate the supplier. So the supplier is the company or individual from whom we're making the purchase. So I'm gonna choose my supplier called Travel here, and I'm gonna enter in today's date. Now you can enter a reference number in the section below, and you can also choose to recharge expenses to your clients. So if your client has agreed that they will pay certain costs on your behalf, you can add those here and then later on you can add them back onto your next invoice in order to pass that cost back to your client. So the expense type has been chosen automatically by the supplier. I can then make sure that I'm happy with this. So if there's a different expense type which might fit more closely, you can change that. And the expense type list also helps you to get a good idea of the different kinds of expenses that you can claim for. Now the VAT has been set to zero here because there's no VAT on public transport, but on, on your own expenses, you can change this accordingly depending on what the invoice or the receipt says in terms of your VAT. Next up, I am going to enter in a brief description here of my expense. So I'm just gonna call this train ticket and then we'll enter in the gross total that was paid. Now you can add in multiple line items on your expenses. So if you get one invoice and that has multiple different types of item, you can add those all separately to show each of the different items on that one invoice. Once we're happy with the items, we can then list the payment details. Now this is very important. If you get paid in installments, you can obviously add multiple payments. The really important part here is to make sure that you're marking the payment method of this correctly. If you pay for expenses personally, you must make sure that you mark the expense as paid personally, as this will add that money to what's known as your director's loan account, which keeps track of all the money owed to or from you from the company. Now, once we've added the payment details and we're happy, we can also add a file. So if we wish to upload a copy of the receipt or a scan or a photo of the receipt, we can do that. So if you don't want to keep all your receipts at home in paper copies, you can upload them all to Crunch and we'll securely store those for you. And finally, you can add a note. So if you wish to add more information about the expense, you can do that. Once we're happy, we can save the expense, which will then save it and add it to our expenses tab. Now we can come back into the expense if we wish and from the options, we can choose to make any changes or delete the expense if necessary. So that concludes our quick look at setting up expenses in your Crunch account.